This is a tutorial on creating bins in the system for storing your stock. In the bin maintenance screen, we can query on the various bins that exist in the warehouses. If you have products that are going to be bin controlled, in other words, they're stock that are going to be stored in specific bins, you first have to establish the bins in this screen. The only mandatory fields required in the screen are the warehouse code and the bin location. We have a bin size field here, which is the free format uh, field, uh, a one character field that you can put in any uh, any character, whatever you wish. It doesn't really even need to refer to a bin size. You might want to use it for a bin category or something of, of that nature. So it's totally up to you. Or you can just leave it null. Uh, the dimensions in cubic feet and the com dimensions of the bin in cubic meters. These are just for informational purposes totally in this screen and uh, are not used anywhere else. So once again the, the warehouse and the bin location are the most important uh, features of this screen. If I want to insert a bin I would just hit my insert record and I'll put in my uh, warehouse. I'm going to use the uh, uh, DC warehouse and we're going to call it bin 200-200. I don't have to enter in any other of the, f of the fields here and I can save. Now when we go into our stock master maintenance I in 0 200 and we're going to call up a product that I've already set up FIN 200 uh, we can now set this to be a bin controlled product by going into product flags and selecting from our list here bin item and save the record. Now this product is now bin controlled. Anywhere in the system where you, where you will be prompted for uh, quantities that will either go into stock or leave your stock for this particular product you will be prompted at that point for the bin item number. I'd like to make note at this point that for an existing product that has a quantity on hand you would not be able to switch uh, it to a bin controlled item if it's uh, not already a bin controlled item. Uh, you'd have to zero out the quantity on hand through uh, a stock adjustment. Make the product bin item and then go back in and uh, readjust your stock quantity and put it into a specific bin. On the main part of the screen here there's a non-mandatory default bin field and uh, we can populate this with our, uh, our, our bin number. Uh, and then when you're in any other screen where you're prompted for the bin the default will uh, show up there on the screen and it can be overwritten. So this is a uh, the way you would uh, set up the bins, the very first step would be to set up the bin in the bin maintenance screen. That concludes the tutorial on the bin maintenance.